course, the line load of the character of Werner Heisenberg is pretty significant, um, pretty difficult, but I think what's even more challenging than that is um, uh, working in a play that uh, is inexact in a way, to put it. There's, there's no exact point to locate oneself, not only in the space, but in with uh, the relationship with the other characters. They move in and out of history. Uh, they move in and out of what their relationships are. Um, and so and it kind of fits with the real Heisenberg's uh, discovery or that he came up with, the uncertainty principle, the what's the inexactness or the undeterminedness of a particle in, in uh, atomic science. Mm -hmm. um, that, that is also within the play, their relationships. There's a fuzziness to it. There's an uncertainty to it. That's pretty difficult to work with. Um, it's challenging, it's exciting, but it's not easy. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Um, Heisenberg, again, was a real person in history, and I just said about his discovery of the uncertainty principle. He was the student of Niels Bohr and then became a colleague. Uh, they worked on what's called complementarity together, where you, you basically are two different theories, two entirely different theories, working toward an explanation, say, of the universe um, cannot be seen only by the one theory that it is all theories combined that uh, work together for a definition. One of my most favorite moments in the play is not a Heisenberg quote. However, it is Margretta's. And uh, Bohr and Heisenberg are in this great debate throughout the play about many things. And so one of the things that she finally says to Heisenberg is, um, you were shut away in a cave like a savage, trying to conjure an evil spirit out of the hole in the ground. That's what it came down to in the end. All that shining springtime in the 1920s. That's what it produced, a more efficient machine for killing people. There you have it.